So we've built up a wedge. We've laid ourselves back in reclined butterfly. The legs are supported. The head is supported. The back is supported. Take a full breath in and as you exhale, see if you can just relax into the support anymore. If there's anything else you're holding that could just release into this ease of support. And if it feels safe, you can close the eyes off. See if you can bring the inhale and exhale to the nose. So that you're breathing in and out of the nose. Keeping those inhales and exhalations nice and long. We'll work with this concept of swadhyaya and self-study by just noticing our own body here in this space. Relaxing a little bit more into the ease with each exhalation. And then checking in with the tongue. If the tongue is stuck to the roof of the mouth, see if you can relax the tongue in the mouth. See if relaxing the tongue can help you relax any tension you might be holding in the jaw. As you relax the jaw, see if you can let that just drip down through the neck. that sense of heaviness and relaxation, just flowing down the neck into the shoulders, allowing the shoulders to move away from the ears to move towards the floor. Letting that relaxation come all the way down the arms, letting the arms feel heavy, the hands, the fingers, if you feel any tension in your hands or arms, just go ahead and fist the fingers towards the palm and then open the fingers vibrantly. And you can do that a few times. Just let some extra energy out your arms and hands and then see if you can just relax the arms and hands onto the floor on either side of you. Just noticing how the breath opens up and affects the area around the heart. Letting the breath be deep and long as you open up that area around the heart. Maybe as you notice your breath, you even find a little more relaxation in the mouth and the jaw and the shoulders as you exhale. Allowing the organs to relax, allowing the pelvis to feel heavy on the floor. Letting that relaxation continue down the legs. Letting the inner groins relax. Allowing the thighs to relax. Allowing the knees to feel supported here in this position so that they can relax. And 
Letting the lower legs find ease and heaviness here. Feeling the rootedness of earth below you. And then we're just gonna take this moment for Swadhyaya self-study. Just take this moment to notice and study your own body. What's, what's happening in your own body right now? So finding this connection between the mind and the body by noticing what's happening in the physical body. Just taking note of it. Try not to judge it. Just allow it. If you need to make any adjustments to feel more comfortable, allow yourself to make the physical adjustment. Allow yourself to feel even more comfortable here. And as you're taking this time for self-study, see if you can bring your awareness to the breath. See if there's any more breath that you could release on the exhalation. Allowing the breath to completely exit the body all the way to the bottom of the breath. And then noticing when you release the exhalation, maybe even putting a slight effort into pressing the breath out, what happens on the inhale and how that full exhalation changes the capacity to inhale. And then taking another scan through the body, a little self-study from the crown of the head all the way down. Just checking out what's happening in your own body right now. See if there's anything else you could relax to find more ease here. We're gonna take a few more breaths. So just allow yourself the space to notice what relaxation feels like in the body. And then we're gonna slowly, slowly start to move out of this position. So you can actually reach down with your hands and help guide your legs so the knees can come back up towards the ceiling and then let the legs go long on the mat. See if you can remove any props from the side. So don't try to just sit up right away. Let yourself take a moment with the legs long you can point and flex the feet here, roll out the ankles. And then we're just gonna roll to the side. So whatever you need to do to, you might have to bend the knees again and just let yourself roll off the props and then press yourself up just enough to Remove the props from the side, from below you. And then we're gonna come right back onto the back. Once you're on the back, we're gonna hug the knees towards the chest, rock a little side to side. Allow the low back to expand on the mat. And then we're gonna to continue to work with that Swadhyaya 
self-study and finding ease and comfort in every pose. So we'll take bridge prep here. Knees are towards the ceiling. You might be able to graze the fingers on the Achilles there at the heel. And we'll start with the hands, just the bottom of the rib cage. And what we're doing here is just breathing with a pelvic tilt here in bridge prep. Very small movement. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, let the belly button come towards the spine, expanding the spine on the mat and pressing that exhale out of the body. So that as you inhale, the pelvis tilts towards the feet and you have a little natural curve in the low back. So hands can be on the belly or on the lower rib cage. And just take this really small movement, exhaling, pressing the belly towards the spine, spine expands onto the mat. All this stays on the mat. You might press the feet just a little bit to let the pelvis tilt. And then on the inhale, natural curve comes into the back, pelvis tilts towards the feet. We're gonna take about seven more rounds of this really slowly, finding our full capacity for the breath. So I'm not trying to hurry through this, but trying to even make it longer. Taking the exhale all the way out of the body. And then as you inhale, again, noticing self-study what happens in the body. Can the breath become a little bit longer? Moving really slowly and with full ease here, just relaxing everything else in the body and just making this little effort. See if you can find three more breaths like this. Really press that exhale all the way out. Our back flattens onto the mat, and as you inhale, pelvis tilts towards the feet, full breath in. Go ahead and find one more here. And then you're gonna release the effort and just notice what you notice happening in the body. So we're starting to make a little pump, a little cranial sacral pump. So just notice if you notice anything happening inside the body after you release the effort. And then once again, we're gonna hug both knees towards the chest, rock a little side to side. Bring the palms to the tops of the knees. And we're gonna take the knees in a big circle. So we're gonna give ourselves a little massage around that sacroiliac joint. Go ahead and see if you can find one more circle this direction. And then as you bring the knees towards the chest, pause there, squeeze the knees in, rock a little side to side, expanding the low back. And then pause, take the circle the opposite direction. One more. And then squeeze the knees towards the chest. Feel that expansion of the low back. And then just pause here. See if you can squeeze the knees in a little bit more. You might feel a connection here to your tailbone. Just allow the tailbone and that sacrum to relax. Now we're gonna roll up from here. If you, you can either roll to the side, take a moment in fetal pose, or if you'd like to join me, you can bring the fingertips to the back of the thighs. And we're just gonna give ourselves a back massage from the shoulders to the tailbone. Now, as you roll, you might notice a flat spot on the back. If you find that, see if you can stay and round the back. So if the low back is flattening out, you can just stay a little circle there and see if you can find curve. And then eventually we're gonna come all the way up, 
See if you can find boat pose here. Release the arms, brighten the toes. We're gonna take five breaths. You can, I invite you to go ahead and extend the legs. If you're in fetal pose, go ahead and we'll, we're gonna come back up so you can draw yourself, start drawing yourself back up. Two more breaths here if you're here with me in boat pose. And then we're gonna cross the feet of the ankles. See if you can come up without touching the floor. Now we were in those restorative poses for quite a little while. So just start with shaking it out. Find your feet, feel your feet underneath you. Give it a good shake. You can let that shake roll all the way up. And then find your way anywhere onto the mat. We're gonna take some rounds of ocean spine. So we've just worked on expanding the low back. So here, see if you can find that expansiveness in the spine again, allow the knees to be a little soft here, allow the tailbone to relax. We'll bring the arms out to the side. You can squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and then roll the shoulder blades together in the back. That might allow you a little bit more space there. So this is Tadasana, mountain pose. And on an inhale, we're gonna let the hands float up overhead. Go ahead and look up at the hands. So you get a little tiny back bend there. And then we're gonna keep our eyes on the hands and just dive into a forward fold. Release completely into this forward fold. Take a full breath in, full breath out. See if you can relax the crown of the head, bring the chin towards the chest. And then we're gonna soften the knees and just float back up to standing. Rolling up the back, lower back, middle back, upper back, head and neck, last arms coming up, and then draw the hands in prayer back to the heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum, full breath in, full breath out, release back into Tadasana. Take another full breath in and let the hands float up overhead as you inhale. As you exhale, fold forward. Release into the forward fold. Take a full breath in, soften the knees, full breath out. And then float back up to standing, rolling up the back, low back, middle back, upper back, head and neck come last. Hands floating up overhead. And then bringing the palms together back to heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum, connecting with your own heart here for your own self-study. Now, if you have trouble staying in forward fold, just bring your blocks with you. Can, you can use the blocks in front of you. Three more rounds from Tadasana. Now you can start moving with your own breath. Let the hands float up. As you exhale, coming into your forward fold, you're gonna take an extra breath here today. So if it feels like too much to hang here, just bring your blocks on either side. See if you're holding any tension in the head and neck, if you could relax that. And then on an inhale, floating back up to stand, rolling up the spine. Pausing at the heart center, connecting with your own heart, your little self-study here. Take another full breath in, full breath out at the heart, and then release back into your Tadasana. Two more, own pace, own breath. And see if you can keep the breath, the inhalation and exhalation coming in and out of the nose. One more round. On this time, as you bring the hands back to heart center, pause there. Take an extra full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna take a wide leg stance. So you can turn whichever side you need to to face the camera. 
And we're gonna bring the arms out to the side and just see what this feels like here. Brighten the fingers and then press into the ball of the feet, lift the heels, bring the heels in so the toes are pointed out. See what that feels like. This is our star pose. So we're just gonna take a full breath here, full breath out, and then see what it feels like to bend the knees and bend the elbows and find goddess. So we're gonna be moving in between these two poses today and just seeing where we are in space, seeing what this feels like. So take any adjustments here you need to, to find ease here. One more. Good, and then back up to star. And then bring the hands behind the back. You can either clasp on the opposite elbows or you can interlace the hands and draw the knuckles towards the heels. Now we're gonna make a very slight adjustment here. We're gonna come back onto the balls of the feet and take the ankles out. So now it's toes, um, Toes might feel like they're a little bit coming in and the heels out. Outside edges of the feet are parallel. And then we're gonna take a forward fold. Now, if this doesn't feel quite available and you wanna bring your hands in front of you today, that's fine. You can just take a forward fold here. You could even use your blocks in front of you, or you can allow the hands to open up behind you. And we're just gonna take three more breaths here. And then soften the elbows, rise back up to stand. Come onto the balls of the feet, heels in, arms out, moving back into goddess. And then back up to stand and star. Two more. Last one. Back to goddess, or back to star, shine. All right, we're gonna move through some wide leg stances today. So we're gonna do all poses where the hips face the long end of the mat. So once again, we're gonna come onto the balls of the feet. The outside edges of the feet are gonna be parallel. And then we're gonna turn, I'm gonna start on the left side, turning the left toes. It's gonna look like it's the right side to you towards the long end of the mat. And then arms up, we're finding our way to warrior two. So bend to the front knee and let the let that front knee stack right over the ankle. And then turn the palms towards the ceiling, draw the shoulder blades together in the back and then turn just the hands palm side down. Looking forward over the left hand, this is warrior two position. Take a full breath in Full breath out, turn the front palm towards the ceiling and we're gonna reverse the warrior, bringing the, drawing an arch in the sky and then reaching that front palm towards the back. And then we're gonna come as like a windmill all the way through and bring that front arm on to the front thigh. And then we're just gonna move between this reverse warrior, exhaling back and then inhale through warrior two into side angle. We're gonna go ahead and take five more rounds like that. So moving nice and slow. So even though the tendency might be to start moving really quickly here, see if you can do this with such control that it's even a little bit more effort to go slow. Last one, I lost count. And then we're gonna find side angle and just pause here, full breath in, full breath out. And then straighten the front leg and just turn forward and see if you can find triangle. So triangle isn't trying to reach all the way down here. We're just going down long enough that we can keep the pelvis open as soon as we start going down we might be really turning in there okay so finding triangle and then soften the front knee back up to where to straighten the leg turn the feet in 
And then we're gonna do a little heels in, toes out, just to find goddess and star pose. One more. Beautiful. And then all the way out, we're gonna turn the heels out. This time turning the right toes towards the long, towards the short end of the mat. So if you look down, your, your back foot is gonna be, the edge is gonna be parallel to the short end of the mat and the front toes pointing forward. And then bend that front knee, front knee stacks over the ankle. Once again, we're gonna draw the shoulder blades together, turn the palms towards the ceiling and then turn just the palms down. Take a full breath here and on an exhale, turn the front palm towards the ceiling, reverse your warrior. And then we're coming into side angle like a windmill and just moving through this. And then again, moving really slowly with control. You can find two more. Last one coming into side angle here. Take a full breath in, full breath out. And then straighten the front leg. See if you can find a way, your way to triangle. And then soften the front knee. Back through warrior two. Straighten the leg, turn the toes in. Bring the heels in so the toes are a little bit out. So we have a little game we play in yoga. Knees follow toes. We want the knees to go the same direction as the toes are pointing, which is moving in and out of star and goddess. One more. And then back up, shine star out. And then relax, we're gonna shake it out. Let everything shake off. Now, most of you have two blocks. We're gonna place one block at each end of the mat. If you don't have two blocks, um, you could take a book or anything that can stack up that you could lean into. And in that way of self-study, just check in with yourself before we go into this next pose, this next um, series that you don't have any tension in the body if you wanna roll anything out. And then we're gonna come back into our forward fold. So we're gonna bring, the feet are gonna be parallel to the outside edges of the mat. So it's gonna feel like the toes are a little bit in. Hip, hands can be on the hips or you can interlace the hands behind the back or clasp opposite elbows and then just fold forward, wide leg forward fold. Allow the head to relax, allow the neck to elongate. Take a full breath in, full breath out. You're also welcome to have the hands on the mat if you want that extra stability here. One more breath. And then soften the elbows, soften the knees. Come back to standing. We're going to keep the right foot where it is, turn the left toes towards the short end of the mat. Let the arms come up to either side, bend the front knee back into warrior two. Now this time we're going to turn our gaze to look over the back of the front hand. So looking, gazing out beyond the, the left hand, beyond the front hand. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Turn the front palm towards the ceiling. On the exhale, reverse the warrior. Reach that palm back towards the back foot. Full breath in, full breath out. Coming back through warrior two, bend the front elbow, finding side angle. Full breath in, full breath out. Straightening the front leg, finding our way to triangle. Full breath in, full breath out. Now I invite you today, you can stay here in triangle or you can hop 
bring the top hand to your, to your uh, hip to start. Hop the back foot forward, find your block. See if you can keep those left toes pointing forward and just lift the back leg and find your way to half moon. So again, the pelvis is open towards the long end of the mat. If this doesn't quite feel available, just stay in triangle. Full breath in, full breath out. And then if you want to, you can float that top arm up. The trick here is keeping this back foot super flexed. That's, if I relax the foot, the whole leg gets heavy. If I keep that back foot flexed, no problem. Take another breath. And then we're gonna bring the hand back to the hips, soften the front knee. Boop, back into warrior two. And then straighten the legs, turn the toes towards the long end of the mat. And then bring the heels in, start a goddess. And then we're gonna take the same thing on the other side. So now that you know it's coming, you can make any adjustments you need. Turn the back heel so the back foot is parallel to the short end of the mat. Turn the toes so their um, right foot is pointed towards the short end of the mat. Bend the right knee, palms down, gazing over the right hand, warrior two. And just finding some ease here, letting the shoulders come away from the ears. And then turn the right palm towards the ceiling. Reverse your warrior, full breath in. Full breath out, reach for that back foot. And then windmill yourself through, find side angle. Full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna straighten the front knee, find our triangle. Just taking a full breath in, full breath out. Go ahead and if you wanna join me in half moon, Bring the hand to the hip, hop or drag <laughs> the back foot forward. Grab your block and see if you can find your way to half moon. So really flexing those back toes. And then if it feels available, you can draw the arm up. Full breath in, full breath out. Go ahead and soften the front knee. Find your way back, warrior two. And then straighten the legs. We're gonna bring the toes in, heels out for our forward fold. Now, if you're interlacing the hands behind the back, see if you can interlace them the non-habitual way, the funky feeling way with the other thumb on top. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other, forward fold. See if you can find another full breath in, full breath out. And then soften the elbows, soften the knees, come all the way back up to stand. We're gonna heel toe the feet in, find them, find your stand and then just shake everything out. Well done. All right, we're gonna move back onto, um, down to the mat. And I invite you to join me for a Malasana squat to get down there. We'll take five rounds. If that doesn't feel available, or if you're working on your squat, you can come to the wall and just come into this position here for about five breaths. Otherwise, I invite you to take your feet wide, Heels are in, toes are out, knees are gonna follow the toes. Inhale, hands up. As you exhale, draw the elbows to kiss the insides of the knees and then press yourself back up. If you're at the wall, just keep up with your self-study. Swadhyaya. See where the mind notices anything other than the joy. I'm easing the pose. One more. And on this last one, we're gonna bring the elbows into the knees and pause. See if you can look forward 
open the heart, press the arms into the thighs, thighs into the arms. If you're at the wall, take another few breaths here. And then we're all gonna make ourselves down onto the mat. Well done. Today we're gonna bend the knees a little bit. See if we can wrap the arms around and take our forward fold here in staff pose by just allowing the belly to come onto the thighs and then see what it feels like to start extending the feet. So we're keeping the knees slightly bent here. Keeping the knees bent so that we target opening the, relaxing the thighs, stretching the thighs rather than putting any stress on the low back. So if you start to feel tension in the low back, just bend the knees a little bit back. Otherwise you can see where you're at here in this forward fold. Once you reach your range, you can see what it feels like to relax the head and relax the neck. I'm gonna stay here for about five more breaths. So just noticing what it feels like to breathe here. Again, going back to expanding the breath, noticing the effects of the breath on the body. And remember there's no hurry to get down. You might just be here with your knees deeply bent. That's great. See if you can find two more breaths here. And then depending where you're at, you may be able to just release the hold on the elbows or you may have to bend the knees back a little bit to release the arms. And then we're gonna roll back onto the back. Back to fetal pose on the back, hug the knees into the chest. Notice here how this one feels different than the first one. And then we'll extend the right leg long, sorry, the left leg long, keep the right knee towards the chest. And then squeeze that right knee towards the right armpit. Allow the left leg to go long. I'm gonna take four more breaths here. With each exhalation, see if you can squeeze the knee a little closer to the armpit. One more. And then release the hold on the leg. Let the right leg extend towards the ceiling. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna just point the toes towards the ceiling and then flex the foot back to our face. We're gonna take it very, very slowly. So I'm gonna control the leg with my hands <clears throat> Let the toes go towards the ceiling, take a full breath in. On the exhale, let the toes come back to point towards the face. So with the inhale, pointing the toes towards the ceiling. On the exhale, flexing the foot back towards the face. Really find your full range, press into the edge. So usually we don't wanna go all the way to the edge of our range of movement. Here we can really press into it. One more. Beautiful, and then just let the right knee bend, squeeze it one more time. And then we're gonna bring the right foot to the mat, draw the left knee towards us, extend the right leg long. Squeeze the left knee towards the left armpit. With each exhalation, see if you can squeeze the knee a little bit deeper. Remember, you're just working with your own range here. Noticing what's happening in your own body. Take another full breath in, full breath out. And then we'll extend the leg towards the ceiling. On the inhale, pointing the toes towards the ceiling. On the exhale, flexing the foot. 
really deeply letting the toes come back towards the face. So even though this is a very small movement, it can be pretty intense if you really take time and press into it. Allow yourself that, don't just move really fast. Let's see if you can really figure out what's there at the edge. Two more. And then go ahead and release the effort. We'll hug both knees into the chest. Find fetal pose here. Now we have two people with um, sensitive knees today. So we're gonna take whale tail and I just wanna make sure everyone's gonna check in with how they're feeling. So we're gonna stack the right knee over the left. Squeeze, close the gap. So I'll show you here. It's going to look backwards. Well, maybe not because I'm, I'm backwards, but we're just stacking the knees, closing the gaps, and then I'm going to squeeze that contraption towards me. So this might be enough just here or see if you can and bring it in and wrap the hands around it. Rock a little side to side so you can feel that expansiveness in the low back. Now, some teachers say to grab the ankles and draw the ankles towards you. That's the whale tail. I find that if you're, this can be a little too intense um, so that it's nice just to squeeze in here. And even if you can't reach over the front, just grab that underneath bit and you're squeezing it towards the chest. So we're really getting into that IT band and the hip joint. We're just gonna stay here for five more breaths. You might be able to feel the, the inhale breath against the thigh, squeezing that exhale out by drawing the legs towards you. Three more breaths. And then we'll release the hold on the legs. Unwind the legs, stack the other knee on top. Squeeze the whale tail towards you. So I, I have to rock and roll a little bit to find that expansiveness in the, in the low back, be able to bring the legs towards me enough to wrap my arms around them. And again, maybe you feel like you wanna um, reach for the opposite ankles that feels available and, and it feels good, that's fine. Maybe you wanna bring the hands behind the lower leg. We're just gonna allow ourselves five breaths here, whichever version of this pose you're taking. One more big full breath in, full breath out, and then release the legs back into our bridge prep pose. We're going to take a twist here. So if you have a block handy, you can use the block as a spacer. We'll just take a regular double leg twist. So from your bridge prep pose, pressing the feet into the mat so that you can lift the pelvis, taking the pelvis slightly over to the right, set it down, lift the legs, spacer between the legs, legs are coming over to the left, arms are out alongside the body. Now, if the right shoulder started to come up, see if you can bend the arms, press into the arms and, and find more um, evenness between the two shoulders. So the right shoulder stays on the mat. Take a full breath in and then let your eyes drift towards the right and see if your head wants to follow to open up in the cervical spine, gazing towards the right. 
And then just allow the eyes to close off if it feels safe. And let gravity to do, let gravity do all the work here. Two more breaths. If you've let the head look to the right, go ahead and roll it back up to center. You can reach down and remove the spacer between the legs and then walk the feet back. Once again, we're gonna reset the spine by hugging the knees towards the chest, rock a little side to side. And then feet back on the mat, press into the feet, lift the pelvis, scooch in the pelvis over to the left this time, legs come up, spacer between the legs, legs are coming over to the right. Now, if your opposite shoulder is coming up a lot, remember you can bring a pillow or something underneath the legs. It's going to help steady that opposite shoulder. If it's coming up just a little bit, you can bend the arm bones, lift the shoulders, find a little bit more evenness and stability between the two. And then let the eyes drift towards the left and see if the head wants to follow. And if it feels good, you can close the eyes off. And just find ease here in this pose. Let gravity do all the work. A few more breaths. And if the head is looking to the left, go ahead and roll the head back to center. Find another full breath in, full breath out. And then reach down, remove the block. Roll yourself back, walk the feet back in. Squeeze the knees towards the chest. Squeeze everything in. We're gonna bring our hands to the top of the knees one more time. We're gonna draw both legs towards us and then let the knees separate and come back around. So we're taking the knees in a circle, but this time not keeping them together. Go ahead and find one more this direction. And then the next time you bring the knees towards the chest, Pause there. We're gonna press them away and then let them come apart and then draw them back towards us and together. So rowing your own boat. One more. And then squeeze everything back in. We're gonna start finding our way to Shavasana. Now, as per usual, Find your most comfortable Shavasana. You might like a bolster underneath your knees or thighs. Take the legs wide on the mat. Roll onto one shoulder and then tuck the opposite shoulder blade in and down so that that arm can open up with the palm towards the ceiling and then do the same thing on the other side. So it's as if you're in your mountain pose with the palms shining forward, palms are shining to the ceiling. You can roll the head a little right to left and then find your center. If it feels safe, let the eyes close off. 
And then see if you can keep the mind alert enough to notice things continuing to relax. See if you can keep the mind alert just enough to help the body find relaxation. So let the full exhalation breath out of the body to allow the body to know it's safe, to allow gravity to do all the work here. Letting the eyes close off, let the eyes be heavy. As if they're relaxing a little bit more deeply into the skull. Allowing the tongue to relax in the mouth. Allowing any tension in the neck and shoulders to release with gravity towards the earth. Allowing the arms to be heavy, the shoulders to be heavy. To find full relaxation. And then noticing the effects of the breath in the area around the heart. On your next exhale, letting the belly relax even more. Allowing any tension that you're holding in the pelvis, in the anus, in the perineum to relax. Allowing the legs to feel heavy, find full relaxation and ease supported by earth. And then begin making your inhales a little bit more deep, a little bit more profound. Letting each breath Come into the body as if it's inflating you all the way down into the toes, all the way down into the fingers. And letting that inhale deepen all the way down into the toes and the fingers until you feel like you might want to give the toes and the fingers a little wiggle. Maybe fisting and extending the fingers until you feel like you want to roll out the wrists. Letting that inhale continue to increase until you're ready to let the arms come up alongside the ears. And let the feet walk towards each other and find this nice elongated center line. Bend the knees towards the chest, remove any bolsters, and then roll on to one side or the other. Use the arm as a pillow. And then one hand in front of the face or the chest. Press yourself up and find a comfortable seat. You can bring the palms to the tops of the thighs here and just give yourself a little sensory feedback. And taking this full relaxation and full body awareness, anything you've gotten out of your self-study, allowing yourself to bring that into your conscious mind so you can take that with you the rest of the day. Bring the hands into prayer at the heart center, press the thumbs into the sternum. 
Connecting with your own heart here, take a full breath in, full breath out. As you exhale, bring the chin towards the chest and honor yourself for your efforts today. Even a slow and steady practice can be very, very profound. So just honor yourself for staying present here, giving yourself the space and time. And then bringing the thumbs to the third eye between the brows and honoring the efforts of everyone else on the planet. And we all recognize we are from the same light. Thank you for allowing me to meet you in this space and guide your practice this morning, this evening, wherever you are. Namaste, thank you. I am testing out this new sound. So you can let me know later today how that was for you or just give a thumbs up if it was okay. Awesome, Jenny liked it, good.